Hey guys, Brett at Russell Marine Products. Today I want to talk to you about the new mapping from Garmin. It's an Avionics Vision Plus. And we're going to go over some of the key features of it. It's a really cool card. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so we've got, uh, we, we, I started running a Garmin unit on my boat. I, I'm mostly Lowrance, but I put a Garmin up there for, for live scope. We're trying that out. And we wanted to try the, the Vision Plus, the Garmin Avionics Vision Plus card out and, and see what the differences are there. You get the shaded relief and the sonar imagery. So we get some added features, which are, are turned out to be really pretty cool. And we'll go through that here in just a sec. One thing that I would like to, to start with is it is a download, right? Even if you buy the card and put it in the unit, you're still downloading this because it's all going to take place through your Active Captain app. So you're going to need to be familiar with the Active Captain app, which is a great feature, not hard to use, but it does go through there. And usually it takes about 24 to 48 hours to completely activate. So don't get the card thinking you're going to plug it in that unit and you're ready to go. You're going to have to wait a little bit to get that thing activated through your active captain. But once you get it activated, it's really cool. So we're going to jump right in and, and kind of show you some of the features, what we're looking at here. On, uh, on the screen here, we're at Grand Lake. Uh, we wanted to go someplace that... Uh, we had a lot, of, a lot of different depth ranges, so we kind of show you that. And the sonar imagery, that piece doesn't work on every lake. So it's not going to be covered on every lake. It is on Grand Lake, so that's another reason I wanted to be able to show you that and, and so you guys can see what it looks like. So right here we've got um, just our typical depth shadings. Um, we've got, you know, 0 to 10 feet, 10 to 20 and so forth we've got them shaded you see our contour lines um, you know back in this cove good contour lines here uh, but let's get into that relief shading and the sonar imagery so we can kind of see what that is going to look like of course on the garmin everything is marked really well they've got old submerged bridges uh, old road beds so it really is good mapping uh, but let's get into some of that other stuff here so we go into our options and we're going to go into layer and the first thing we want to look at is the the satellite overlay so when we click on satellite now we're going to actually get the town of grove so we get a satellite imagery around the lake so we can really help find out where we're at on the lake if we're researching you know a lake that we're going to go fish um, so we've got some uh, boundaries there where you can really see what's going on there. And if we zoom out, you can see where it, you know, it covers a pretty good bit of it. So that's a cool feature that's on this card. And then let's go back here and we want to go under water. So these are the ones that I've got turned on. You've got your green light on the left hand side. So depth shading, fishing contours and so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn those off just to kind of give you a full view of what, what it's going to look like. So everything's off. This is just basic mapping here. If I click on this relief shading, which again is an option on the Navionics Vision Plus card, but this is what it's going to look like. So it really gives us an in-depth look of the contour of the bottom of the lake. So as we see the red part, obviously that is shallower water. And then we can really start seeing where drop offs are. Um, and if we want to add our fishing contours back so we can see the contour lines around that, we can do that. So another cool feature there. Again, really helping us narrow down where the fish are, what we want to target. Um, but it does give us a really good, I'll take those fishing contours off, but gives us a really good look of the contour of the lake which is I think a really cool feature when we're searching out uh, a lake that we're going to fish we've never been to uh, but really cool feature there now 
we've got that. We can, again, add our depth shading back if we wanted to. Uh, that kind of covers that up, so I don't think you would use that. But definitely we would do the fishing contours so that you can see where the contour lines are and in relation to some of those big drop-offs that we're looking at there. Now let's turn the relief shading off and let's look at our sonar imagery. We're gonna turn those contours off and let's look at the, so what this does, and let me zoom back out here. So it's gonna show us the lake and we're gonna get those yellows and reds. And that is the hardness of the bottom. So now we've got, you know, our second thing, we can see the different contours. Now we can really target in where the harder bottom is to the soft bottom. And that's gonna be covered. Again, that piece is not covered on every lake. So if we went to El Dorado Lake, which is what we normally show you guys, this would not be covered on El Dorado Lake. So it's not gonna be on every lake, but we can really see uh, where the, the soft and hard bottoms are throughout the lake. If we turn the contours back on, again, we can overlay that contour line to where that soft and hard bottom is. So again, just another piece of information that we can use when we're, when we're checking out a lake, going to fish a new lake, whatever, you're fishing your tournament, just more information. These are things that you're not gonna have on your Lakeview G3, uh, the Navionics, um, even the Lakeview G3 Ultra cards. You're not gonna have that. So, Wanted to show you some, some cool features with that Vision Plus. Now, one thing that, that I struggle with is it does have the depth offset, right? But as you notice, it would be under here. It would be the last option on here, but you don't see it. The reason they do that is you've got to be on the lake. So once your boat, once it's showing you on that lake, then you'll be able to do that lake level offset. If you put it in demo mode and you put your boat icon on the lake that you were looking at, you could adjust those lake levels, but we're not in, we're not in demo mode. We're just showing you straight what the lake looks like and those features, but we don't have the water, the, the depth offset right here, not until we're on the lake. So just remember that it works, but you just got to be on the lake or in demo mode for that. So guys, I think this is a really, really good card. We, we got a lot of guys asking, why do I spend the extra money? Is it worth it? To me, it gives you a lot more information than your basic mapping that Garmin has. We can still do all of our depth shadings. If you wanna do that, instead of all this sonar imagery and the relief shading, you can go back to your depth shading. Looks like that but we've just got some more features here that is really cool and it'll really help you narrow down where you wanna fish on that lake. So guys, if you have any questions, give us a call, 316-313-4113 or shoot us an email at sales at russellmarineproducts.com. Hope this helped, hope you like it. We'll see you next time. Are you tired of your old marine electronics? At RP, we make trade-in easy, three steps. Step one, shoot us an email, get a quote. Step two, send us your old unit and get credit. Step three, get your brand new unit and get installed on your boat today.